All right, so I'm going to show you how to create a new file, a new text file using Python. So the first thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to navigate to my C drive and my file explorer. And you can go anywhere you want where you want to save something. It doesn't have to be in the C drive. It can be you can find a specific a specific folder that you want to save something in. But the folder that I want to look at is a folder I created called Mr. Danza. So I click inside this folder. You know, you can add a bunch of things inside the inside folders. Um, I only have one file currently in here, and it's just a password stored in a text document. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lights went out. <laughs> yeah, put my motion censored light on. So. I could go in, if my task was to go in and create a new text file, I could do that manually and go to new and then add a text file, right? And then maybe I name it ABCD, right? And I could do that and then I click on it and I could write something in there, right? And save it and close out. And I have this file that if I ever wanna go into, I can click in here, right? If I wanna click inside this password, I click in here and see, that well, it was a password. Now it's just a bunch of sentences. So with that, you know, I have these files. But what if I was tasked with creating a bunch of different files, and I didn't want to sit through and do that same process over and over and over again? Well, I could write some Python in order to do that for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I'm going to open up a new Python file, and I'm going to save as save it as example one is 18 and the time is 10 a.m. that's just my naming convention that's what i use when i name files so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to use the open function to go and open my file now where do i want to save this file right where do i want to save it well i want to save it inside this mr danza folder so if i click mr danza and I see the other contents. I have two other files in here already. If I click up here in the very top, I'm going to copy this path. And then inside quotation marks, I'm going to paste it. Make sure that these slashes, make sure you add a second one as well, just for future errors that might happen. All right, so I know I'm going to open it. That's what I'm going to pass first. And then I'm going to... Well, at the very end of this, I'll say slash slash. I'm going to write the new file name. So maybe my new file is, maybe I call it example.kxc. All right, see, it showed me what was already in there. That's my hint. And then what I'm going to do is the second thing I want to pass in is going to be the letter X. If you know how to read and write the files, you would know that if I wanted to read the contents of it, I would type in R, W would overwrite, A would append, and X actually creates a new file. So that's what that does right there. And maybe I, in the future, maybe I want to refer to this file that I'm opening as F. So I'd say F is equal to opening and creating this new file. So what I've done here is I've created this new file that doesn't already exist in Mr. Danza. And the way I signify that is by typing that X. Right, but then maybe I write something in it. So maybe I'll say f dot write, and maybe I will say um, hello. This is just an example of how I can create a file, and then write to it. I said create a new file. Okay. And this inside quotation marks inside my parentheses as well. And then I'll close the file. All right. So what this does is it creates a new file. I give it the location of where to put it. It's in the Mr. Danza folder. And I name it example.txt. And then at that point, it's probably like, wait, what's going on? And then it says, hey, look, I'm actually creating a new file. And the new file is the X. Don't know why they picked X. Then I, um, since I'm referring to this file already, I've created it. I'm going to write to it. 
and I write something in there and close it. So once I run this, hopefully I don't get any errors. I ran it, no errors. So check this out. In the Mr. Danza folder, right? In the Mr. Danza folder, I now have another file that says example. And if I click on the example file, it says hello, this is just an example of how I can create a new file and write to it. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, if you wanted to create multiple files, you could, and it's a way to do that using Python.